Chapter 12 Cats, Camels and Recreation, Anger Daft title for a chapter. Never mind, you might as well read it because it could just be very relevant to yourself. For some people it will be spot on. Remember the model we are working on as trigger, appraisal, stroke, judgment, anger, inhibitions, response. See Fig 12.1. What we are talking about in this chapter is the anger box and there are just three points to make about it. You'll see 12.1 on page 131 which is a model for analysing irritability and anger. Displacing anger. The first point is that anger can be displaced. This process is commonly known as kicking the cat or always hurting the one you love. For example, you may have a bad day at work, but judge that it is a bad career move to get angry with your boss. What you do therefore is to come home, and metaphorically of course, kick the cat. In other words, take it out on whoever, or whatever happens to be around. The strange thing is that whoever, or whatever turns out to be on the receiving end of your anger, does in fact seem to be very irritating at the time in question. You are not always aware that you are displacing your anger from your boss at work onto your loved ones or cat at home. Anger is additive. The second point is that anger is additive. It builds up. Again, the best analogy is the leaky bucket that we first used in part one. Suppose you have a bucket with holes in it. It is still possible to fill the bucket to overflowing by pouring in several jugs of water in quick succession. When the bucket overflows, that's the equivalent of an outburst of anger or irritability.